All right, team, we're going to uh, build out our part eight here. Um, so let's get started here. Right, we're going to sketch this out on our top plane. So we're going to select that top plane, and we're working with these two main circles to start. So a radius of 45 and a radius of 30. As we know, a radius is half of that circle, right? or the radius is the measurement from the outside diameter to the inside of the circle. So when we're dimensioning this, this is diameter, so we're going to have to double that. So 45 times 2 is 90, and 30 times 2 would be 60, right? So now we have our 90 and our 60. Now we're going to drop these two lines here at 56. So let's start by grabbing our line tool and we are going to start right here dropping that first line. Now <clears throat> I want to just make sure this line is good and you can start if you see this little this right here this is letting me know that line is vertical which is what I really wanted. Um, so I'm going to do this with my other line here and I'm going to make sure that line is vertical as well. Then I'm going to come in here and take my lines and dimension them to 56. All right, so now that I got my lines at 56, now I want to get them even. So I'm going to come from one to the other and I just need 56 divided by two which is 28, and that will pull everything over. And just to confirm that these lines are parallel, I'm going to select both lines and click right here and make sure that they are parallel. So I, now I have everything black, fully dimensioned out. Now I'm going to trim it up to, to get this shape that I'm looking for here. So I'm going to trim this outside as well as this inside. And now I've got this shape that we're that we're going for, and I'm going to accept that shape. So it's a height of 25 and 12. So I'm going to come here to my sketch one. We're going to extrude, and I'm going to click on these outsides, and I just want to extrude the the big main circle, and I'm going to accept that because that's a height of 25. Then I'm going to click on my sketch one again, extrude. I'm going to extrude whoop, blind and I'm going to take that to 12 and I'm going to have that be everything, right? <clears throat> so now I have my, my height of 25 and 12. Now I'm ready for my next sketch and I'm going to uh, start that on this top and I'm going to draw that out and I'm going to want that as circle. Right, and I want it to be dimensioned out to 60, just like this other circle here. And now we're going to be working on this shape here. We got a radius of 15, and we know this is 90 degrees. So, what we're going to do is grab another circle, center point circle, draw that out, dimension that to 30. Now, when I'm working on anything like this, I like to give myself some kind of some crosshairs to work on. So I'm going to lock on right here and here, double click to end that line. Again, on the side click, double click, end in that line. So now I want to start by by getting my uh, my line going across. So I want that not to be for construction. Now I want to try and lock that on and get it as close to the center as possible. Now I know that's not locked on the center um, here as I scroll in because uh, that night line was like 59 and change and I know it's got to be 60. So to lock that onto the center I'm just going to use my dimension tool and I'm going to click on the line and I'm going to click on the center and I want to make that zero. So now I've dimensioned that to zero in the center, and I know that I want this line here is going to be at a 45 degree angle, 
which will ultimately because I've got a line going here so half of 90 is going to be 45 now from here I'm going to um, trim I want to take that and trim this second part of this line and I'm going to trim that line all the way through so I just have this line and I know that line is good so I want to mirror that line and I'm going to select my line to mirror and then I'm going to mirror it over which is perfect now I want to actually mirror everything again and I'm going to pick this line as my mirror and I'm going to select both of these lines so now I have mirrored everything around now all I need to do is grab my trim tool and I'm going to trim up this center piece here so now I just have my uh, extrude and these are the pieces that I want so I'm going to accept my sketch and I'm going to come here to my sketch too and I'm going to remove and I gotta tell it what part I want to remove so I gotta I gotta switch those and if we look here we're going down nine so we're just I'm gonna change this to nine which will bring everything up so now I just need to switch this so I'm gonna click on that and I'm going to select these because I wanna just switch everything and I will accept that so here is our part all right now we just need to set it to brass assign a material you'll set your uh, your part to brass and go check your your mass and check that against uh, what it says in the Schoology and submit your part